Hi, this is Lori from the Kids Library. Spring is here and it's time to start thinking about planting seeds. This is our DIY Sprout House. It's made from sponges and seeds. It combines engineering and science into one awesome and fun project. You'll also learn a little bit about seed germination. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll need for your sprout house. Four kitchen sponges, a permanent marker, toothpicks, a plate or a metal pie pan, seeds, we use chia and alfalfa for the roof and wheat berries for our grass, a spoon or butter knife, water or a spray bottle of water and scissors. First wet the sponges to clean and dry them. It's best to rinse them in the evening and let them dry overnight. If your sponges are wet, you won't be able to draw these marker lines on them. If that happens, just let them dry a little bit longer. Carefully cut the sponges along the marker lines. Don't worry if you still see your marker lines on the sponges after you cut them. You can just flip them over when you go to put your sprout house together. Next, you're going to assemble the house using toothpicks. This is the tricky part. Carefully use a twisting motion to insert the toothpicks into the sponge about halfway. Try not to push too hard or you'll break your toothpicks. It's okay to ask an adult to help you if you're having trouble with this tricky part. You can also ask an adult to use a hot glue gun to glue your house together. Carefully cut the ends off of the toothpicks. We used safety scissors. It was a little tricky and the toothpicks tended to shoot out. So you also may want to ask an adult to use bigger scissors to help you cut the ends of those toothpicks off. Next, place the house in a pie pan or on a plate. Spray the house with water until the sponges are damp. You can also use a few teaspoons or tablespoons of water to get your house wet if you don't have a spray bottle. Put your seeds into the two small bowls. Chia and alfalfa seeds together in one bowl and wheat berry seeds in the other. Put a teaspoon or two of water into the seeds. Stir the water and the seeds. The chia seeds absorb a lot of water and it becomes quite gummy pretty quickly. This actually helps making spreading the seeds on the roof a lot easier. Before you spread your chia and alfalfa seeds onto the roof, you may want to add a little bit more water. Spread the chia and alfalfa seeds onto the roof and the wheat berry seeds onto the base. You want to be careful not to put too much seeds on your roof. If you do, your sprouts will have a hard time coming up.
when you're done putting your seeds on, you're going to spray the house again. Spray the house with water daily. You can also gently pour a tablespoonful of water or two onto the house to keep it damp. If the wheat berry seeds fall off when you're watering it, just put them back on. Well, I hope that in about five days, you start seeing little chia and alfalfa sprouts like we have on our sprout house. We're still waiting for our wheat berry seeds to start sprouting. They take a little longer. Well, I hope that you had fun today and that this inspires the gardener in you. See you next time. Mm -hmm.